What's going on, YouTube? It's Don Jizzle, aka Fifth Scale RC Insanity, back again with another video. Yo, so I ordered some parts for the custom build here. Just gonna do a couple updates. So I ordered some aluminum rear uh, 7075. Seven, rear uh a arms here and i ordered these uh these steering rod uh hubs here steering rod hubs aluminum i'm gonna change these out and put some aluminum some aluminum ones on there and um order some gas lines from ddm and uh or like 10 a I'm gonna change these two up front I was gonna order the front um seven it uh, seven five seven but um I figure I needed some I needed this to have some sort of uh give you know what I mean um I'm gonna be ordering the the front um uh, the whole diff. I'm gonna redo this whole diff like I did the back, but I, I'm, I'm I'm gonna keep the A arms uh, um, plastic for now. Um, I did have the all right. So I got another pull start. I did get another pull start, and um, the pull start. Uh, the spring, which is inside, the spring cre it, it, uh, it, it made a crease in the middle of it. So when you, when I had, I, I pulled the engine, and the engine, man, I pulled it slow. It's just so much compression on the engine. The engine, man, it was fired right up. You know, all this is is good to go. Did order order some fuel lines. We we'll changing this out. Um, and the engine is good to go. It's, it's working. It's, it's perfect. And it, it's, man, it sounded so good. But you know, when you first started, and when it when it started, it had sucked the wire. It had sucked the the pull start back in. And when it did that, so much compression. When it when it sucked it back in, the the the, the slack it bent the spring. So uh, you know them, them, them uh, turtle racing pull starts aren't for these high compression motors. So I did order a couple more pull starts. I ordered one like a marine pull start, which kind of goes. It fits this this little piece here. It's the same exact thing as this, but it, this is see I, he, I got the it's all aluminum. This, um, but this this housing this type of pull start, and I bought a regular pull start. Um, what else did I get? I got I got some iridium spark plugs, um, and I, you know I'm gonna be ordering more stuff when I ordered my 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 new build. And to talk about my new build, seems like I've been put on blast. Niggas is finding out <laughs> what I, what I got coming. So I'm gonna tell you, I got the I'm I'm, I'm getting the Vector Five, man. I'm getting the Vector Five. Uh, Levi Shirley edition, the roller, and I'm gonna build that up. That's what that's that's the build I'm gonna do, the Vector Five. So it's not in yet. When they get it in, I'm gonna get it. So that's what we're doing. I'm probably gonna buy this, the aluminum. I'm gonna buy this aluminum bumper from Entergy, and I'll change this out. And I'm gonna get the Futaba. Uh, controller. I got the steering hubs coming. I got the steering the steering blocks coming rather. And then I I probably changed out these uh these carriers right here. And what else? What else? What else? What else? I probably get another air filter. I will probably get the air filter that. That changes the position of this, the aluminum air filter, and I'll probably and that'd be done with that. This and I'll be starting to starting to build on my. Uh, you probably I'll probably oh yeah, and this uh, I'm going to change this whole box box out, and probably the gas tank I might get an aluminum one. 
So, I need to get all that gas in there. I spilled gas. Let me clean that out. Anyway, uh, yeah, in another pipe. But this is going to get a new engine. I'm waiting for OBR to come out with that Reed engine, uh, that Reed case, 47, 46 Reed case. I'm going to get that, put that in here, put this engine in the Vect 5. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're going to see how it rocks. When I buy the Vecta 5, I'm going to probably buy all the upgrades that I want for it at that time and just upgrade it. I think it has a two-speed transmission, not like this, but I don't know. I've been looking, trying to get more information on that two-speed they have. So, you know, I'm going to get that spring. <laughs> I'm going to get another spring. I might just put a regular pull start on this. I might not even, I don't even know what to do. I might pull that, put that turtle racing pull start on this uh, red cat here. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to buy some new more wheels, probably for all three of them, wheels and rims. I'm probably going to put aluminum, some aluminum wheels on this one. You know what I'm saying? That's how this joint looks. Put this on there. You know what I mean? So, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna get that Vector Five. If you got, if anybody got to Vector Five and has any comments or anything they know about it, I like. To know, I need all the information I can get about it. What needs to be changed. I know I'm going to be building some sort of front. I'll probably be doing a lot of custom work to it. I got a lot of scrap around here. And then just want to, you know what I mean, uh, start building, doing a lot more custom things instead of buying stuff, you know. I want to, I, I want it to be, you know, my own. So I want to start doing a lot more custom work to it. Um, yeah, so that Vector 5, I can't wait. <clears throat> For it to come out, it's not they haven't got it. It's on the boat right now. Probably gonna put another an aluminum uh, holder on here. Probably pick that up. And yeah, that's where we're at. So this is gonna get changed. This engine is gonna get put on the Vector Five, and probably buy some wheels and rims for that. Also, they ain't got that much upgrades for it. They got a, they got the two back braces. They're like a hundred bucks a piece, and then they have the, uh, they have the, the uh, this right here, this carrier here, and they got a couple other things for it. So I'll just buy everything for it uh, when I pick that up. Um, if you have any suggestions about that Vector Five, please let me know. Um, oh yeah, the body. <clears throat> I'm gonna start working on this body. I gotta buy me a wrap, probably buy that next week or something. Buy wrap this thing up. I'm, I'm going with that M and M wrap. That uh, the M and M yellow M and M. Put that on there, and uh, we'll see how that gets down. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to do a short little update video, let y'all know, so I can get some suggestions and. Uh, Hopefully, uh, we have a nice build, custom build, Vector 5 coming in here. And uh, I'm excited about that. Like I said, could've, I could have got these A-arms. They're, uh, they're nice, man. They look nice. If you want to check them out, they're uh, GPM or something. They're coming out of China. I know. They're coming out of China. I could, it was such a deal, man. That thing is only $40, man. $40 GPM for some... Seven seventy seventy five rare A arms, forty bucks. Go check it out, man. I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. Oh yeah, I gotta get these. Uh, I'm gonna be getting these. Um, these uh, hubs right here for a rear, and buttoning this thing up. And this thing, is, she, she, but man, I started the motor. She sounded so good. It started right up, and it was purring. And then you know. You have to give it gas and stuff, but the, when I was about to start trying to get it to to idle out, the, it was like three seconds, and the damn thing sucked the pull start back in, and it locked. So I had to take it off, and the spring was all mangled in there again. It's too bad. I talked to Dave from uh, DDM. I just bought another one. 
<clears throat> and uh, we'll put it on there. And uh, <laughs> if this spring grows, I'll probably, I'll probably go to a spring company and just order a thicker material spring and just have them custom build the spring for it, for the guts of that. That's probably going to be my next plan because I know this spring is going to go too because the engine is just too strong. And anything else above this, I know it's going to be crazy. So <clears throat> I'm just going to just, I've been, I was talking to some guy from a spring company today. I'm going to get the dimensions or probably mail them the spring and just have them build me like five of them <laughs> and just uh, <clears throat> have them build me some, you know, like a strong spring. That way it doesn't kink up so easy. Um, Torsional, one of those torsional springs, like your, like in your garage, like up there in the garage. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, back to five, baby. Levi Shirley edition. Oh, a little history on the vectors. See, those vectors are really, the, you know, that's a whole new. If you go to YouTube and watch King of Hammers, the King of Hammers is like a rock climbing desert buggy. That's what the Vector 5 is, a rock climbing desert buggy. That's what that that type of machine is. They only been running that type of uh, competition for about six years, since like 2010. So it's a whole new uh I, I watch a lot of that desert buggy racing and short course, like real racing. It's kind of what got me into this kind of car. Um, but it's a, it's a, it's a real sport, you know what I'm saying? That Vecta 5. So that's a cross between like a, a desert buggy and a, and a, and a rock climber. So check it out on YouTube. It's called King of Hammers. And you can watch and see what kind of, uh, what I'm talking about. But that's where that's where they base that off. So I'm gonna to try to you know stay true to tradition, tradition, and build it kind of just like that, you know. So, you know, in that scale, the fifth scale, uh, the fifth scale class, like. So. Yeah, that's it. Got some AR. Like I probably got some other parts I'm not mentioning and coming in. I ordered ordered some some stuff today. So, uh, let me know. All right, for shizzle, dizzle.